What's up team? Welcome to Lower Body Shred with myself, Matt. Today, it's all about the lower body, leg day, baby. We're gonna need a set of moderate to heavy weights. If you have options, great. Feel free to push the bar, pick up a heavier weight, because now is the time. Grab your weights and I'll meet you right back here on the mat. Before we dive in, team, we got to warm up this body. We can't just jump in cold. So we're going to start off with a movement called Frankensteins. Now, all about a dynamic opening of the hamstring. So you're going to join me right now. We're going to stand up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back. Rib cage is tucked down. We're going to take our right hand up. We're going to take our left leg straight out. We're going to straight reach for our toe, all right? So if you can reach for the toe, awesome. If you can reach for your mid shin, great. Your ankle, whatever it is, we're looking to just open up that hamstring. now. Things that we want to focus on not doing is rounding over. If we round over, we're not actually going to feel that hamstring. So think about if your back was up against a wall and we're just lifting that leg. If you want, you can come up to your toe. That works too. But nice and controlled, right up, right down. We call this a Frankenstein. You can probably guess why. But one at a time. We've got about 10 seconds. We're going to go down for a bootstrapper. Again, opening up those hammies and the hips. So you're going to take it down. Bottom of a squat in three two, one, feet outside the hips, butt back, chest up. Take our, our fingers, put them under our toes. Shoulder blades are packed down, driving our knees out, right? So we're looking at the best squat position possible. Then we're gonna round out, straightening the legs, feel the stretch, drop the hip, lift the chest. And all we're doing is moving through a range. So it's more dynamic movements here, creating some mobility in the hips, the hammies. That's it, good. In about 10 seconds, we're going to stand it up. So you give me a couple more bootstrappers. I'm going to go right inside. Next move is going to be our last move in the warm-up. We have a forward lunge in three, joining me in two, and one. Let's go. So we're taking that big step forward. Chest is tall. Knees are 90. Our weight's majority in our heel. We don't want to come onto that toe where that heel is lifted. Some weight in the forefoot is fine. But again, we're just stepping one at a time. Now, things to think about in your lunge. Your feet stay hip width apart. This is going to keep us balanced. We're pushing your knees out, screwing your feet into the ground. Five more seconds. Got a lot of hamstring work here. I'll go over why, but right now, we're just focusing now, stepping down and standing up, engaging the hamstring, the glute. Again, chest is tall, looking straight out in front of you. We got those Frankensteins coming your way in three, two, and one, let go. So, one thing I want you to think about, even though it's more slower, controlled warm up here, more mobility, your heart rate, feel it, it's coming up. That's good, all right? You're gonna notice, we're gonna move a lot. We're not gonna stop, all right? What we're looking to do here is build a work capacity or also known as endurance team. It's a functional way of life and that's what we need, endurance. So a lot of this training today, it's gonna focus on keeping that burn alive, keeping the body moving, taking it back down, bootstrapper in three, two, one, now. We're at the bottom, we're gonna add a little change. We'll rotate, reaching all the way up. Bring that hand back down, press that elbow into the ground, reaching the other way, and repeat. So just a variation in that bootstrapper, we're opening up our thoracic spine or our mid spine. Wow, we drive out on those knees. Five more seconds, we're going back to that lunge. This time we're gonna add a little bit of a rotation. So you're gonna stand up, join me in that forward lunge in three, two, one, big step forward. Knees are 90. Rotate over the knee that's up, and then we drive out. Now, we start to put in more of a balance play. We start to focus on the hips, the knees, and the ankles, controlling the body as we step through this lunge, right? It's not always about just stepping forward. Once we step forward, we add a new component into it, the twist. That's it, good. Almost there now. Five more seconds, we go back to the top one more time, and then we're gonna start, team. And when we start, I'm telling you, it's a leg day. My favorite day of the week is leg day. Frankenstein's in three, two, and one. Let's go. Our right, last set, maybe you pull up that leg a little higher. We pick up the speed. We move a little bit faster. Cool. Last round, we really want to get prepared. So let's just keep moving. Good. Breathe here. Now, leg day. I like leg day. I hit legs about two to three times a week. Some may say that's crazy. I like to say leg day is every day because it is. You use your legs every day. They got to be able to support you. So why not train them more so we can able, we're able to support our body, right? Back to that bootstrapper in three, two, and one. Back to the bottom. Drop the hip, lift the chest, rotate. Team, I want you to think about your legs 
as a foundation of a house, right? Our body or our legs hold up our upper body, our hips, our core. So if we don't have a strong foundation, how do you expect to be strong, right? Legs and core, that's what it's all about. A couple more here. We're going back to those lunges with the rotation in three, two, and one. Let's go. Big step out, rotate, push through the heel, boom. Now you may feel a stretch in that hip flexor when we rotate. That's perfect. Little things to think about each time. We got five more seconds in four, in three, in two, and one, and rest. All right, team. We're gonna have a short little break here. 90 seconds, that's short in my mind, all right? We're gonna have some dumbbell swings and then a Copenhagen side plank. You're gonna love that. But let's start off with the dumbbell swing. So grabbing our dumbbells, I'll demo our movement and then we'll dive right into it. So with these dumbbells, we're gonna start off inside the hip. Now, if you've done a dumbbell swing before, same pattern, feet are outside our hips, soft bend our knees, we're hinging at the hip. So the hinge, our hips go straight back, nice long spine, rib cage is tucked. The weights are gonna come through the center of our legs. We're gonna drive through our heels, extend the hip, stand up nice and tall. Weights will come right back down, all right? That's our dumbbell swing. I'll hit a couple reps, we're gonna dive into it. We have 30 seconds, so let's grab our weights by the side and let's get ready to rock. So I'm gonna demo a couple reps and then you'll join me. What it's gonna look like, soft bend in those knees. Long spine, we're hinging at the hip, drive through our heels, extend the hip. Now, if you've never done a swing before, thinking about our arms are nice and loose, our hips go back, we drive through our heels, and extend. So I want you to think at the top of this movement, think of what this looks like. A plank position, right? Nice and long spine, think as if you're standing up against a wall, thighs and glutes are tight, core is locked in, that'll give us a nice stable foundation, all right? So 10 seconds, we're gonna go 30 second swings, and then we'll dive on to our next move. So when you're ready, let's get down this hike position. We're gonna hike the dumbbells to our hips, stand up and go. We got three, two, one, let's go. All right, so dumbbell swings. A lot of core and hip focus. Now a lot of people are like, Matt, not quite sure what we're doing here. What, what is this doing? Well, team, you keep moving. One thing we wanna think about what it's doing is building our glutes, building our hamstrings, building our midline. It's all about that hip extension or opening up the hip at the top. That's our focus. 10 seconds here, but full body focus on the posterior or our backside. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Weights off to the side. We're gonna drop it down onto a side plank on our right forearm. So when you're ready, side plank, bottom knee is bent. Ready in three, two, one. Hips are up, right heel or right knee is down, hip and shoulder in line. We're pushing your elbow into the ground. Now, top leg is kind of there. What I want you to do is take your top foot and drill it into the ground as hard as you can and pull your bottom knee off the ground towards that top leg and squeeze as hard as you can. If it's too much, just put the bottom knee down. You got five more seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in four, three, two, one, and rest. Flip it over, other side. Same thing, 30 seconds, Copenhagen side plank. Now, I'll talk to you more about this on this side. Same thing, hips and shoulders are in line. All right, what we're doing here, pushing the elbow in, should feel our oblique, should feel our lower core, all right, and our hips, but our inner thighs. I want you to think about squeezing them together. That's where the challenge comes. If you can pull this bottom leg off the ground, hey, you're already there. But we're gonna progress, we're gonna build up to that. This is not easy, team. This is hard, all right? You got five more seconds. The fact that you're trying it, that's a win in my book. You got four, three, two, and rest. Now, you know what I said about not move, or not stop moving, right? Back on your feet, we're going to those swings, around two. Team, now we're focusing on progressing. A little bit more power, a little bit more strength. Get ready, back on that swing in three, two, one, let's go. Sit low, hip, hike those dumbbells through the hip. Nice hard extension. Now, if you want that low option, two dumbbells too much, a lot of core focus there, just grab one dumbbell. Hold it by the side, and we're still progressing. We're still building that hip hinge, the power, but we just focus on less weight, that's fine. You got five more seconds here, come on. Four, good, breathe in three, two, one, and rest, dumbbell down. Back to that Copenhagen side plank. Now, this is a reason why I'll probably know to never go to Copenhagen, because of this side plank, all right? They are tough, team, just kidding, I, I wanna go there, but they are tough, this movement is not easy, those inner thighs fire up immediately. Let's go, in four, three, two, one, hips up, let's go. Now, 
You're starting to feel comfortable here. You're like, that lower, that le- the bottom knee is doing a little work. Let me add that top leg more. Why don't you start to push that top leg down as hard as you can. Feel that top leg working more than that lower leg, team. Come on. Five more seconds. So you're push, push, push. You got four. This should not be easy. You got three, two, one, and rest. Flip it over. Same thing. Other side. Three rounds, team. Ready, set, in three, two, one. Hips are up. Top leg driven down. Now, the overall goal here is to eliminate that bottom leg. Being able to stabilize with just the top leg and our forearm, keeping the hips up, is, is the goal. Again, it's going to take time to get there. We're going to build those inner thighs. We're going to build those hamstrings. But right now, we're just thinking about driving down with that top leg. Always reminding, down, down, down. Five more seconds here in four, three, two, and one. Whew. Team, you got 10 seconds. We got one more round. We're just getting started. You're in for it. Let's go. Back on those swings. Dumbbells on the floor. We're going to hike them through. You're back on in three, two, one. Let's do it. Last 30 seconds, team. Come on. A little bit more power in the hip. I always say, it's like you're bending over and someone ran up to you, right? Think about you're bending over. Someone just ran up to you and kicked you in the butt super hard. You'd stand up fast. You're like, who was that? Exactly. That's the power. I want that explosive excitement right through the hip. Pop. All right, let's go. Got about five more seconds here in four, three, two, and one. Rest. Dumbbells off to the side for right now. We hit that Copenhagen side plank one more time. Your legs should be shaking on this round, team. Let's go. Get to that shaking point in three, two, one. Top leg down, hips up. Now, if you can take that bottom leg off the ground, do it. This is your time. Squeeze your thighs together. Pull them up higher. Push the hips higher to the sky. Drive the elbow deeper into the ground. You got about 10 seconds, team. If you shake, that's good. That struggle, that means strength. That means you're building. That stimulus is right there. In four, three, two, oh, one, rest. Whew, that gets me every time. I don't know about you, but once you start that exercise, you know what's happening right away. Last time, 30 seconds. In three, two, one, hips up, let's go. Same thing here, pushing that elbow through the floor, hips are up, thighs are together, we're holding. If you can take that leg off the ground, do it. But if not, knee stays down, we drive that top foot through the floor. Just breathe, just hang out. You got 10 seconds, enjoy it. Understand the targeted muscle groups here. I don't know if you see me, but I'm shaking. So even for me, this is tough. It's always gonna be tough, because when it gets easier, we make it harder. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. Now that our inner thighs are activated, it's time to hit some lateral work, team. What more lateral work than we want than lateral lunges? Now, we're going to grab our weights. They'll be in a rack position. I'll show you when we get there. But essentially, what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on lateral lunge, so that's side, side, side movement with single leg stability. So dumbbells will be by our side. Take a big step out to the right. We plant the heel, butt back, chest up. We sit nice and low into this heel, off leg long. When we drive out of the bottom, come right up to a balance. Now, this is going to be a higher level. If that's too much for you, you go to your side plank or your side lunge. Sorry, I'm still in that Copenhagen side plank mindset. And then we come to the middle. Then we pull that knee up. All right, what we're looking to do here is build our strength, the strength in our ankles, our knees, and the hip, that single leg work. The single leg work is going to make you stronger. So that's why we're going to focus in on it. So grab your weights. Take a big, deep breath. Let's get ready to work, baby. Lateral lunge to the right only, all right? So dumbbells by our side, shoulder blades are back and down. We're going in three, in two, and one to the right. Let's go. So big step out, butt back, chest up, off leg long. We sit deep into the heel, forceful drive through the leg, come up to a balance. Now, the balance, don't just hold your leg there. Pull it all the way up. The higher you are, the tighter you're going to be, the stronger we're going to get. Come right to that balance, right back out each time. We mirror the dumbbells around our leg and come back through. Now, if that's too much, get rid of one dumbbell, hold one in the goblet position, we lateral lunge, we come to the balance, hey now, and then right back down, all right? So there's always an option. You can always get rid of both your weights. That's totally fine. You got about 10 seconds and we're going right into the other side. See, ain't going to stop, all right? Here we go. Transitioning the other side in three, two, one. Let's go, see? Even me, I'm not perfect, I'm a human. 
that balance, we can always get better. We can always work on it. But single leg, that's all we're looking to do. Now, single leg lunges or lateral lunge. What we're doing, we're really targeting those glutes from a side angle. You'll feel these more than any exercise you target the glutes in. Good. Five more seconds, team. You're going to join me into a stiff leg deadlift. So you keep going. The shoulder blades are back and down. Chest is up. You're joining me in three, two, one. Standing tall. Soft bend in her knees. We're hinging at the hip. And then standing tall. So RDL is here. Or Romanian deadlifts. What are all these exercises in countries? I don't know. I didn't make it up. All right. So we're thinking about hinging at the hip again. Finding those hamstrings, nice long spine, pushing into her heels. Good team. Got about 10 seconds. Keep breathing. We're going to go right into some isometric holds. Dumbbells are going down. Let's get one more rep. We got five, four dumbbells down in three, two, one. We're moving fast, so try to stay with me. Feet outside her shoulders, butt back, chest up to the bottom of her squat, and we're just holding. So let's check it. Let's talk here since we're sitting down. We're going lateral, targeting the legs, single leg. Then we focus on a hinging pattern, focusing on our hamstrings and our glutes. Now we tie it all together by an isometric movement or a hold, right, in our squat. Team, there's a method behind this madness. Trust me. You got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Just like that, you work for two straight minutes nonstop, team. You got about 30 seconds, we're gonna grab our weights, we're going right back to the top. We can do this two more times. Now, each time on our lateral lunge, we want to create mobility within our hips. So I want you to sit a little bit lower, push out a little bit harder, all right? 10 seconds, back to the top, like nothing changed. Here we go, in three, two, one, single leg balance, let's go. So if we got any runners out there, any, anyone in everyday life, you, anyone, me, everyone, the single leg work, the balance will always benefit in every way of life, no matter who you are. If you're a runner, this will definitely help too. Whoa, look at that. I need more balance in my life. Five seconds. Other side team in four, three, two, and one reverse. So let's go back to the other side. Big step and drive. Now, one thing I want you to think about when you step out to the side are these weights. Can our midline, our lower back, thoracic spine stabilize us so when we step out, we're not collapsed. We want to be upright, hips back, glutes and hammies loaded. Powerful step. Bring that knee up. All right, we got about five seconds. You're going back to those RDLs in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So again, soft bend in the knee, shoulder blades back. We're hinging. Now, something I failed to mention to you earlier that's going to help you out a lot, team. How do we know we're hinging? I want you to think about these dumbbells are on a track. The track are your legs. Let those dumbbells ride down our legs the whole way. We get to that mid-chin, we feel a stretch, we stand up nice and tall. Once those weights come off our legs, we start to round, we're no longer hinging, all right? Let's go, five more seconds, really focus on keeping those dumbbells close to the body. We're going back to that squat hold in four, three, two, dumbbells down, one, let's go. So the bottom of a squat, when I say bottom, I mean parallel, hips and knees in line. This, we're in the bottom, resting, doing nothing. We want those muscles firing, we want tension on the legs. Your legs should be on fire. 30 seconds, we already moved for 90. Let's hold on, come on. You can do whatever you want with your arms. Put them by your side, put them over your head, cross them. You got five, four, three, two, one, and time. Team, last but not least. Two minutes of work, we've already done it twice. Last round, it's time to burn it out. If this set is not the hardest set, I need you to sit lower. I need you to push out of that, that lunge faster. Again, we're trying to build power here. Going into it nonchalant will give you nonchalant results. But if you put effort, you put motivation, you put drive behind it, you're gonna get a lot more than what you intended. So let's get after it. Here we go in three, two, one. Back to that lower lunge team. Last round, let's go. Really pull that knee in. We're tall, knees driven. Final set. We want the most out of it. Whew. We got something a little spicy coming up after this. So I want you to hone in this exercise. Whoa. Look at that. A little breeze will push you right over. See? Always working on that balance, team. Always working on that balance. You never know what's going to come your way in life. You got three, two, one. Other side. Right back to it. Whew. 
There we go. Breathe through it. Really thinking about exhaling as we come out of the bottom. Pull that knee in. You got 15 seconds. All we're doing here, team, is eliminating the energy in the muscle, right? We're pulling the oxygen out of it, but we're forcing it to work harder. So we're pushing it to failure. Oh my God, what happened to this balance? What happened to this balance? We're forcing it to work harder, therefore we're gonna get it to give us more that we want out of it, right? It's a push-pull push kind of relationship, a hate and love. Shoulder blades back, stop bending the knees, back to the hinge. Let's go, right into it. Three, two, and one. That's all we're doing. The harder you push your body forward, the more of a return we're going to get. The more we kind of sit back and kind of relax and do whatever, all the less we're going to get. So even though it's a short amount of time, we've got to really, really push it, really make it a little difficult, make it challenging, uncomfortable, because that's when we get the most out of it. we got five, four squat holds coming up in three, two, and one. Let's do this. Last set, best set, team. Hold that squat. Chest is tall, core is tight. It's always like, what do you do with your hands, right? Like, what do I do with my hands? I don't know. Do whatever you want with your hands. But it's always, a, that's, a, that's always a question when you're holding. You're doing a wall sit, an air squat, whatever. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Team, shake it out. Give yourself a little twist. Great job. We're going into our final block. Now, we did more interval-based work. We're going into AMRAPs, so as many rounds as possible. We're gonna have three minutes on the clock. We do as many rounds as we possibly can. We got a movement called dumbbell clean. So what is that, Matt? We ain't cleaning the dumbbells, that's for sure. <laughs> cleaning them up, all right? So I want you to think about that swing. All right, dumbbells will come through the high hip. We're gonna extend our hips. Now on the swing, the dumbbells are gonna come out. On the clean, we're gonna extend our hip. As we extend our hip, we're pulling our elbows back. Dumbbells are gonna come up. We're gonna punch under and control them right to that rack position. So all real time, what it's gonna look like, your arms are weightless, your hips are doing the work again like that swing, we drop them through, whew, right up. Once we extend that hip, we're pulling that elbow back, catching them right in that rack position. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those. We're gonna get rid of one dumbbell. Now, high option, dumbbells coming overhead, bicep by the ear, 10 alternating lunges. We take a big step out, knees are 90, chest is tall for one, two, this is kind of where we slow down a little bit, if you need, bring it to that rack position. Same thing, we're alternating each round, we'll switch sides. And last but not least, you got 10 jump squats. This is gonna be the fire behind the movement. So butt back, chest up, we squat down, explode up for 10, all about control. Low option, take your air squat, that's totally fine. We can build strength by adding that explosive drive out of the bottom without leaving the ground. Whew, the hardest part of my job, is being able to say it all and then dive right into it. So team, with all the information, we're going right into those 10 dumbbell cleans, 10 overhead lunges, 10 squat jumps, three minutes, as many rounds as possible. The window of opportunity is open for you to choose what you're gonna do. So let's grab those dumbbells. Let's get right after it in three. Starting off with those cleans in two, one, let's go. So we're hiking them through the high hip, just like we would on the swing. Extend the hip, pull the elbows back, punching through. Now again, you're like, Matt, what is this movement doing? I feel just like, like what, what is this? Where, where is it targeting? Great question you may ask. Your whole backside, again, our hips, our core, everything we focus on on the swing, but now the transfer of power from our hips to our arms catching in our shoulders. All right, we go. A couple more reps, finish out your 10. Once you've done your 10, we're gonna put one dumbbell down off to the side. We'll bring your other dumbbell up overhead and we have those 10 forward overhead lunges. So again, rib cages down, taking that big step out for one, two, and go on, right? For 10 reps. So things to think about in this overhead position, our bicep is by your ear. We're pushing the dumbbell up the whole entire time, right? We want it nice and active in the shoulder girdle. That's gonna keep us nice and controlled while we'll keeping that midline tight. And again, if you need, we can take that lower option to that rack position. All right, now, once you've hit those 10, weights off to the side. 10 squat jumps, this is where the fire begins. Butt back and down, chest is up. High option, we have the jump squat. Low option, you take your air squat, that's fine. But whichever option you have, we're still thinking about that explosive drive out of the ground. I got a couple more reps here, team. So wherever you're at, you keep moving. Good. You got about a minute left 
We're going to go right back into the top. So again, this AMRAP, the window is open of opportunity for you to do as many reps as possible. Reps, rounds, whatever you can get. So grab your weights, get right back into it. I'm back on my cleans. 10 reps here. That's it, team. That's it. So next time you get back to that lunge, we're just going to switch arms. Which arm is overhead, right? So for me, it was my right to start. Now I'm going to go to my left or vice versa. Whichever works for you, do you. I always say it's your workout team, so you do you. Whatever you have to do in order to get through the work, get through the reps, get through the movement, get after it. Take that low option. Get rid of the weight. That's fine. Got just under 30 seconds here. Here we go. Good. Keep stepping it out. Finish your set. Let's try to hit those squats one more time if you can get there. Whew. Those legs should be on fire right now. Come on, team. Come on. We're almost there. Got about 10 seconds left. Let's finish this set. You got four, three, two, one, and time. Team, you got 30 seconds to do a little of this, do a little of that. Pick those weights up right where you left off and go right back to it. So again, we've already been through it one time. We know what we're doing. We want to take that knowledge of focusing on our strength or our stronger movements versus moves we may not feel so strong in and apply it to our next three minutes. Last three minutes of this workout, shutting it down after this. So give it all you got right here, team. Grab your weights, finish off strong. Wherever you left off, we're picking right back up. Let's get back into it. We got about five seconds. 30 seconds does not slow down whatsoever. Here we go in four, three, two, one, and let's go. Right back into those dumbbell cleans if you were there. If not, you do you. Because sometimes we don't even have to move fast in order to get a good workout here. We're not even moving fast, we're just moving more explosive. And what that's doing is escalating the heart rate, keeping your body moving. Oh yeah. And team, if you happen to do like 15, 20 reps in a movement, you don't realize how many you've done, don't worry, extra credit's a good thing. That's normally what happens with me. I don't stop and I don't count really ever. So I just kind of go until my legs feel like they're gonna fall off and then it's accomplished. <laughs> All right, we got just about halfway coming on. Remember, you've already been there. You have an idea of these movements, which ones you feel really good in, which ones may not feel so comfortable. I want you to focus on your weakness. Just push through your strength. That's it, good. My squat jumps are my favorite. Squat jumps are the ones that really keep me going. This is the movement that brings it all together here. All right, it's the one that brings the heart rate up. It kind of unifies the burn and it keeps us moving. Now, the thing about the squat jump is try and hit all 10 in a row. Once we stop, it's gonna be harder to start like I just did. For example, don't do what I just did. If you keep moving, awesome. If you stopped, shake it out, dive right back in. Once you hit your 10, which I've done like 15 already because you know, extra credit's always a fun, good time. We got one minute left team. We're going right back to our clean. So wherever you're at, just keep working it, keep moving. Keep breathing. Most importantly, we're focusing on that endurance here through our full body. So if we don't breathe, it's going to be a lot harder to keep moving. <sighs> Big thing on these cleans now, we start getting tired. Those arms are doing nothing but guiding them to the shoulders. All right, you got about 30 seconds. If you're at your lunges now or wherever you're at, just keep your body moving. We're almost there. We're about to finish these three minutes. Team, think about it. You've just done six minutes with a 30 second break. Enough time to just stop and shake it out and get yourself right back into it. Woo, last 10, almost there. Finish out this set. We got five in four, in three, two, one, and time. Woo, shake it out team, wow. Those legs, that was six minutes with a 30 second break in between. Realize how much work you just got done in a short amount of time. And that's what it's all about, team. We had a short amount of time here. We were effective and efficient by keeping our body moving. So thank you for shredding it up with me. And we'll see you in the next one. Great job. Way to go.